Welcome back to Heather and Marshall. I'm Heather. I'm Marshall. We are back with a brief life update, quick description of where we've been, and there should be a trigger warning. This is not going to be a happy video. No, and no, and I promised myself I would not cry. So I'm going to try very hard not to do that. So, I mean, should we just jump into it? I mean, uh, what else to do, but <clears throat> you want me to start? Well, yeah, why don't we start with November 20th? Well, we should start before that. Really? A little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, no, you're right. Let's go ahead and start. So a few days before November 20th, we took Marley to the vet because she was, well, go ahead. She, I noticed that she had kind of stopped eating, um, but yet she had some um, pretty bad diarrhea. Um, I tried to give her some medicine to slow down the diarrhea, um, but it didn't <clears throat> slow down. So we took her to the vet. Um, at that time, the vet wasn't quite sure what was wrong with her, but she was walking. When we were in the room with the vet, she was just kind of walking around. She kept trying to go back to where the vets are, uh, which she never did before. She, hate, she hated going to the vet. <clears throat> um, so from there on, um, the vet took her back, weighed her. Came back, asked us quite a few questions about what we saw was going on with her, so on and so forth. So she said she wanted to go ahead and keep her overnight uh, to monitor her and uh, see, run some tests, see what they could try to figure out. And then, was it the next day? Two days later. Two days later, they sent her home. Two days later. Sorry, there's, I don't know a time right now. And I don't want to go into a lot of detail because um, it's just too hard to talk about. Two days later, they called, said, I took the day off of work because I expected them to be calling me and saying, you can come get her, you can come get her. I went to work. Heather went to work. Even um, though I was very sick, remember? Yeah. I had to go to the ER. Um, they called me. I don't even know what time it was. It was late afternoon and so you, go out, you can go ahead and come get her. She's doing better. I went and picked her up. Um, I, Heather's stepdad took me, we went and picked her up. Picked her up and they brought her out to me and they, as soon as they handed her to me, I could, I could tell that <clears throat> not much changed. It didn't seem like she was doing much better. I brought her home. Long story short, after a couple of incidents that happened, um, I could tell that she, she was not doing well. They never should have sent her home. Um, long story short, like I said, I called Heather and I said, you need to come home. Luckily, she was on her way home from work. I said, it's time. So on November 20th. Long story short, we took Marley to an emergency clinic and we said goodbye to her. So we lost Marley on November 20th. The pr I said but I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> so we're not done. So that was November 20th. We lost Marley. Now we, we knew that Marley was elderly. We could see her deteriorating. I've explained this in other videos. That's why we adopted our baby, Jimmy. So on the 30th of November, he stopped playing and he wasn't eating and his little nose was dry and warm. So he went to the vet and he had a, a bacterial infection in his eye. His eye was red, bloody, bloodshot. And they're saying, the vet said that everyone, all the, most of the pets that come from the Animal Foundation where we adopted him had that. But he just wasn't okay. And I'm not gonna go into a long story like Marshall did because I'll never get through it. After three days of fighting on, well, on the 30th, they said they were gonna keep Jim in. The vet, our vet is actually a big BTS fan. And I was like, we're supposed to go to LA tomorrow for the BTS concert. We can't go if Jimin is gonna be this sick. And she's like, he's gonna be stable for the next 48 hours. It's an eye infection. Go to your concert and have the best time. So 
we talked about it and we're like, okay, if he's stable and it's just an infection, he's going to be okay. We're going to go to LA and we're going to have fun. We had bought these tickets in 2019. We, then we got refunded. We bought them again. They were very hard to get. We had already paid for our room in LA. Like we, we decided to go. We decided to go. This was the 1st of December. We went, we saw friends. We had a great time. We stayed in very close contact with the vet and with his nurse. She was even messaging me pictures and videos of him while we were at SoFi Stadium at the concert. <clears throat> we canceled everything for the next day, immediately came back, went straight to the vet from our room in LA. We drove right to the vet. Um, this is Minnie. Say hi, Minnie. <laughs> this is our very senior cat. She's 18 or 19. And we expected her to go first. We expected so to lose old. her first. Anyway, we go straight to the vet. We visit with Jimin and he's just, he's not okay. And um, we had found out that he was born with a congenitive heart disease that we didn't know anything about when we adopted him. Nobody told us. So long story short, on the 3rd of December, Jimin left us. Um, we lost him that morning, heart failure. He died on his own. We didn't have to make the decision to let him go. It was just his time and he, he knew we were there. He was crying and like trying to crawl to us with his little mask on. And he was just tired of fighting after three days. So we lost him too. So we were so like distraught and heartbroken that we couldn't even like get ourselves up off the floor to go to work, nothing. And it was like the most important event of the year where we work. So on the day we lost Jim and we also both lost our jobs. <laughs> And I know this sounds unbelievable, but we're telling the truth. This is exactly what happened. We lost Marley, then we lost Jim, and then we were out of work. Now, a friend of ours, um, who I met through Twitter, through the BTS Army, um, I'm not going to tell you her name because that would be disrespectful and I want to respect her privacy, but she has been an unreal friend to us, hasn't she? She helped me start a GoFundMe campaign to help us kind of raise the money for our bills. Um, we decided we didn't want anything to do with Christmas this year, so we didn't really celebrate. But we're really grateful a few people sent us a card, and we got a, um, we got a gift from her mom gave us um, Christmas gifts, and her brother gave us a gift. But, I mean, that was it. We didn't get anything else. We didn't ask for anything. We just, all I wanted for Christmas was Jim and to be okay. So we didn't even put up a tree. We didn't do any of that. We, we don't even know, like, it's just, things are really bad right now. So... Um, our friend helped us start a GoFundMe and it did raise enough to pay December's bills. And then about mid-month, we both found new jobs. We immediately started looking for work, didn't we? Yep. And you found a job that is so much better than the one you had. Yeah, a lot, a lot better. A lot better. She gets to make way more money and it's just going to be a really good opportunity for her. And then I was offered another job. Um, just a few days after her with for also a little more money so we're um we're really grateful for that we, we both go back to work here in about a week and a half um same day oddly enough different companies but we both go back on the same day but uh so there's there's good things coming but we for now are in pretty bad shape like we're it's it's a big struggle so yeah this is not a happy update there's promising things ahead We've gone back and forth from I'm never owning another pet. There is no way to we really want another kitten. You know, and Marcel wants two. We even um, we even went back to the place we got Jim in. Oh, it was um, a terrible day. Because they they had some kittens on their website, but like and they promised to waive our fee after we explained yeah, to them. Like the video uh, when we got Jim and how we explained we went to this place and I had nothing but good things to say about them nothing more um we went back to them because they had kittens but it is a first come first serve um and we got there and heather got to speak to the manager um and expressed what we were going through and what we went through with jim and, and how when we adopted him we had no idea of knowing he had a congenitive heart disease and they didn't tell us that so um, the, she offered to waive the fee. And we saw adoption. a kitten we really liked on their website. We went and asked her. Yep, there was a kitten on there we wanted. 
Um, he we was went to get him. Cute. We went to get him. We sat there for four hours. She said, as long as nobody before you doesn't get him. And I begged so her, like in tears, why can't you just let us adopt this kitten? After everything we've been through, why would you put us in front or behind 27 other people on this waiting list? Why won't you just let us take this kitten? And she's like, we can't do that. My back's against the wall. So we for waited sure. for four, over four hours when it was our turn. And I'm, meanwhile, I'm refreshing seeing that this kitten is still there. Meanwhile, when it's finally our turn. Yeah, because they updated every hour. Yeah. And she also said to Heather, if it gets adopted, I will call you so you, you guys don't have to wait anymore. Right. We were the last ones on the wait list. And 27 people were in front of us. 27 people were in front of us. And we were, this is at the end of, they close at 7 p.m. here. 6.30. And it's 6.30. We go up, we get our name finally called. I show her the kitten. I say, I'm here for this kitten. And she goes, the guy before you, the guy right before you adopted the kitten. Yeah, you know. So he wasn't for us. Yeah, and that's that's how we have to look at it. When it's meant to be, it's meant to be. The, the right kitten is going to find us just like Jimin did. Jimin's purpose and the reason I sought him out was to help Marshall's heart when Marley finally left us. Like I knew that it would give her joy and strength and that's exactly what he did he did he definitely did his job but to lose him 13 days after marley oh, there are no as words you guys can imagine i know there are i know they're pets but there are kids there are no words i loved that baby more than i could ever tell you and i said it in his adoption video like i'm never adopting another pet because i can't handle losing them so this is just there's no words to this pain and Say hi, Nemo. Uh, marley marley's been through the hardest the hardest things that i've gone through in life marty has been there for me she was my little buddy um through thick and thin and i and i get it when you know you adopt a pet and we definitely like to say it adopt don't shop yeah definitely you know that eventually the time's gonna come you're gonna lose them and we understand that um but for us to lose two pets in 13 days and our jobs it was too much it was just it's been a super hard month and we can't wait for it to get over with january we're starting fresh we've got new jobs you know things when things are meant to be, they're meant to be. Yeah. And there was a lot of reasons why we looking at it the positive side. We're trying. And there's a lot of hatred. <clears throat> and there's a lot of depression and bitterness. Bitterness. And anger. And anger. Like all the emotions one can go through, we go through in a day. We go through in two hours at each other. Yeah, we don't even leave our home. We're just we just sit around in our pajamas and and you know we are we're doing our best but it's 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 a struggle we do still have many um i don't know for how much longer she's not doing well either no, so she just walks around crying because she was marley's sister and she doesn't understand she, or maybe she does i don't know she's never been alone an only child she's mm -hmm. always had marley with her yeah. and then when marley we did have to put marley to sleep um which i wanted quickly make a shout out to the emergency yes. vet clinic that we went to i'm not going to say their names again um, why not i will dr farnsworth at the emergency clinic on pecos in las vegas was the most humane decent and caring veterinarian i've ever seen in my life the man had tears in his eyes marcel wanted to hold marley the whole time so that she would take her last breath in marcel's arms and that doctor was incredible dr farnsworth he was incredible. We're not gonna say the name of our regular vet because I don't know that it'll be our vet anymore. We are incredibly just broken about it, but I will always give props to people that I'm very happy with. And that doctor deserves <clears throat> just everything good in the world because he was so good to Marcel and to us. Yeah, he and was incredible. And then sent us a card. He sent us a handwritten card from himself, mm -hmm. which says a lot nowadays. Yeah. People don't do that nowadays. What a wonderful doctor. Um, I wish we had taken Jim in there. Well, and I, how could we have known? I'm not so sure about Marley, but I, I do feel in a lot of ways that they did try to do everything they could for Jim. It's just weird that our original vet, when things took a turn with Marley and Jim, 
It wasn't our original vet. It was another vet, and it was the same vet both that was times. working with the animals both times when they took a turn. So, yeah, I have a lot of uh, build up anger. Yeah, but we're not here to talk bad about. No, people. I'm, not, I'm not here to be disrespectful. No, I'm not trying to say they are. It's we're just, just two broken hearted people that have really been through a lot. Yeah. So, anyways, sad video. This is. It's a real life update, and that's what being a YouTuber is about. We want to be real and we want to be honest. I will say that um, I will put the link in the description down below to our GoFundMe and to our PayPal. And we welcome anyone that wants to help us out with, um, like, everything. The vet bills are one thing, but January's rent is the most important thing right now. And we also just found out we're getting a $120 rent increase every month. Yep. So that was what we got for Christmas this year. It just, it just kind of feels like one blow after another right now. Like we keep trying to get up and then life just keeps kicking us down. And it's, I, I believe things will get better in time because we're, we're both going to work hard to make that happen. And I mean, if you add in things we're not even talking about, like we have a member of Marcel's family right now who is very sick with um, heart trouble that we just found out is hereditary and that she has to now get checked out. And then there's, I mean, there's things we're not even going into. So that's not our story to tell. We don't want to talk about family members that don't give us their permission. So we're not going to get into that. But when I tell you that we just really feel right now like life is just trying to bury us, it's true. But this is just a real update. We're being honest. We're telling you what's going on. Um, we will be back with another video. We have two lunch pack boxes that we've just been ignoring. So we're going to make that into one video. Maybe we'll try to be a little more upbeat in that one. But yeah, this is our real life update. This is what's been going on. And we um, we just really appreciate our 200 subscribers. Thank you very much for being with us. And uh, once again, if you guys want to help us out or donate to our cause and what's going on, it'll be in the description down below. And as always, we really appreciate you guys watching our videos. Yes, we do. Thank you so much. And we know, you know, everybody's going through stuff. But yeah. well, we just want to be real with you and let you know this is why you haven't seen any videos lately. Yeah. And we, we send our love and prayers to everyone. And we do wish everyone a very happy holidays. We hope your Christmas was really well. Happy Boxing Day to our friends in Canada. And um, yeah, and Happy New Year. May it be better for everyone. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.